Hello there Lunar Squadron and welcome back to the channel. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is finally here. We all have finally been able to get our hands on this game and play through it. We hope that you are all loving your time in New York City with both Peter and Miles. It truly is a phenomenal game, but over the past few days we've actually gotten some news about the direction of Insomniac Games perhaps after Marvel Spider-Man 2, including maybe even a standalone Venom game coming out of Insomniac in the nearby future, and today we're going to break all of this down for you, what it means, and whether or not it's even a good idea to be happening, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel, we would love to have you as always, and the way to do that, just go down below this video, hit that little subscribe button, the bell notification right on next to it, it'll notify you every single time that we upload. Now that out of the way, Andreas, are you ready to talk about a potential Venom game? Oh yeah, let's do this guys. Today's discussion stems from an Insider.com article by Eamon Jacobs. It is titled, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 Video Game Director Teases Potential Venom Spinoff. We're going to listen to fans. Uh, that we're going to listen to fans quote is from the story director of this game, John Paquette. Now, the relevant portion of this article comes after the subtitle, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Will There Be a Venom Spinoff? But if you guys wanted to read the entire article, it is out there on insider.com. It is not very difficult to find. And so let's just walk through the relevant portion for the purposes of this discussion. It starts off here saying, when asked about the possibility of a Venom spinoff game in the same vein as 2020's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Paquette said they're waiting to see the reaction from fans. And here's the quote. So here's what we're doing. We're focused on Spider-Man 2, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait to see how the fans react. We're gonna listen to the fans, and we're gonna ask ourselves, okay, what do the fans really want? We'll kind of talk about stuff after we've all had time to sleep and take vacations, he added. So what do you think, Nick? Are we getting a whole offshoot game about Venom himself? I gotta say, I was pretty surprised when this quote came out this weekend about them even inviting the potential for a Venom standalone game after Marvel Spider-Man 2. I think this is one of those things that we would all love to see because having the opportunity to play as Venom would be absolutely phenomenal for, you know, like an eight hour experience, just getting to be Venom. Like that would be a dream come true. And how they say, you know, we're going to listen to fans and see what the fans want. I have a feeling that most of us, if not all of us would be chomping at the bits to get our hands on a standalone full-fledged Venom game and you know given the way that this game is designed you know with the symbiote suit and you have those Venom powers for for Peter it wouldn't be too terribly hard for them to do something like that like it seems like a pretty easy translation like you think back to Miles Morales from Marvel Spider-Man they were able to keep a lot of the assets from the first game and have a quicker turnaround with Miles Morales and I really think that they could do something very similar here with a standalone Venom game it's something that I would absolutely love to see you know honestly any Marvel game that Insomniac would like to get their hands on and you know tackle and put out there I am completely in favor of them doing that because they're such a great developer and all of their Spider-Man games are absolutely phenomenal. So I would absolutely say yes to this after a Wolverine game at the end of next year. Like that would be a great idea. But I got to say, Andreas, there is a couple other heroes that I would like to see Insomniac tackle maybe before they do a Venom game or alongside a potential Venom game. Like, I would really love to see Insomniac get their hands on Doctor Strange as a character and get a full-fledged Doctor Strange game. Just the way they're able to take advantage of the PS5 solid state and the stuff that they've already accomplished with some of their previous games. I would absolutely love to see a Doctor Strange game. I think it is something that they would absolutely kill. I, th I just think it would be a great idea. Honestly, I would love to see Insomniac just get their own standalone like Marvel verse for gaming and be able to just do all of these different characters over the next 10 or so years. So that is what I would prefer. But man, if they want to tackle a Venom game here over the next few years while we wait for a potential Spider-Man 3 down the road, I'm not going to say no to that. I don't really want to be like the buzzkill in the room here, Nick, but I'm feeling, and dare I say, a little bit of Venom fatigue. And the reason why is Spider-Man 2 really gravitated around Venom and Venom was so central to the Spider-Man 2 marketing campaign that I personally 
have felt that Spider-Man 2 in and of itself is almost like a Venom game. And that's why I was always thinking that the best idea for DLC for this game or, or the next step would be to really set sights on something like Carnage or, or maybe just bring something new to the table other than Venom because we're getting such a great dose of Venom in playing through Spider-Man 2 in and of itself. So for me, if we were to get a standalone game within the Spider-Man universe here, I personally would like to see that next step going to something like a Carnage or exploring the various other symbiotes that we have in the Marvel Universe. And to go off of what you're saying, Nick, I personally would love to see Insomniac start stretching into other areas of Marvel. But of course, this gets complicated because there are other studios. We've got Motive working on an Iron Man game, and then of course we've got the Black Panther Captain America game. With Insomniac itself, we've got a Wolverine game. So we have other studios and Insomniac themselves working on different areas of Marvel. So I'm wondering where Insomniac will be allowed to spread their wings because there was, of course, at some point, a conversation between Marvel and Insomniac saying, hey, Insomniac, we're gonna let you take care of Spider-Man and we're gonna let you take care of Wolverine, but we've got some other studios working on some other things. Nick, personally, I want to see Insomniac do everything because they have proven that they can do Marvel better than anyone else. And for me, it's just a matter of how far is Marvel going to let Insomniac spread their wings? Yeah, you bring up a lot of great points. Like, clearly Marvel Spider-Man 2 was a Venom-centric story, but man, I just think about the potential of playing as Venom for like 8 to 10 hours if it's a, you know, a shorter game like Miles Morales, and it really is hard to say no to something like that. And you're absolutely right, like, it is going to be hard to tackle something like that, like, giving Insomniac free reign because of all of the other Marvel games that are coming, including, I'm pretty sure that this Iron Man game out of Motive is actually the first of three Marvel games that are coming out of EA. So there are a lot of Marvel games coming from various studios, but if I had it my way, I would be just handing all of it to Insomniac and being like, look, do whatever you want. You're phenomenal. You, you know, you kill it. 10 out of 10 experiences every time. Plus we know like their version of New York City has the Sanctum Santorum. There is the Avengers Tower. I believe there is even some Fantastic Four Easter eggs in their New York City. So like the potential is there. They've laid the seeds if they wanted to do that one day. So I would love to see it. But in the meantime, I definitely would love to see them tackle a standalone Venom game. I think they would absolutely kill it. I think it would be such a fun game. Maybe maybe not the best story ever, but damn, that would be a fun game to let Insomniac take care of. So guys, let us know down below in the comments your thoughts. Would you like to see a full-fledged standalone Venom game out of Insomniac Games? I know we definitely would. And let us know your thoughts on Marvel Spider-Man 2. We have finished the game. We're actually working on platinuming the game right now. We're almost done with it. We've been playing this for hours on end, so we're getting close to the platinum. But let us know your thoughts on the game down below and your thoughts on a potential Venom game. But that is going to do it for us for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, we will see you all next time.